Okay, hey guys, it's Downtown Josh Brown. I'm here with a very special guest today, the founder of Acorns. His name is Noah Kerner. Uh, Noah's got a really hot uh, business. Everyone's talking about it. You probably read about Acorns at least once a month, some new initiative they're trying. They are, in my opinion, uh, one of the best up and coming investor apps out there. I think they're doing some really interesting things. Uh, and, and I'm really excited to have Noah on the show to talk about a new product they're launching. So stick around. I think you're going to love it too. Okay. So first of all, Noah, it's a pleasure to meet you. Um, for people that don't know what Acorns is, what's the elevator pitch for the app? So Acorns is the easiest way to save and invest for your future. We take all the friction out of the process. We allow you to do things as simple as invest spare change or make a recurring investment in your future. Um, we also make it super easy to save for retirement. Now, as of today, we're making it possible to invest in your kids uh, in as, as, as little as 60 seconds. So that, you know, that's really what the product is. It's like, it's, a, it's the easiest way to save and invest for your future. Okay. So there are a lot of investing apps, but yours is very different. Um, what you're basically doing is you're allowing people to make their regular purchases on their phones, on different apps, different e-commerce things that people do. Um, and then originally the idea was like, there's always spare change left over and they can round up and have that money automatically be contributed to an investment account for them. And I know that things have gone, come a long way since then. Um, but that's the, the the general idea is that people don't need to start out with $50,000 in order to become investors. They can start small with whatever they have now and small numbers add up. Um, hence the, the moniker of the firm Acorns grow into oak trees. So talk a little bit about how, how far you've come since that initial concept um, and how people are using the app today. Yeah. So we've opened up over 7 million accounts to date. And to your point, we started with this idea of spare change because it's really easy to understand. Everybody's got it. You've got it in your cup holder, in your couch, in your pocket, whatever, right? right. So the idea that you could invest something as small and simple as spare change and that, that, like you said, that will start to add up over time. That was the genesis. And we believe that changing behavior is incredibly difficult. So if you can, you know, if you can, if you can tap into something that people already have, already understand, and, and then make it really easy to take that to a sort of a new level, that that would be sort of the entry point. Um, and to your point, you know, broadening access for people, you know, for most Americans or most people around the world, it's very difficult to participate in this system called capitalism. And it's very difficult to get engaged in investing. How do I do it? Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to select. I don't know what it, I don't even know what this is. So the, I'll take you through the process of being a customer because I think that's a really easy way to understand it. Great. So when you, when you hear about Acorns, you download the app, you go through a couple easy steps, um, you link your bank account so that we can make deposits or you can make withdrawals if you want. You say, I want to turn on roundups, which is the feature we were talking about, which allows you to automatically invest spare change. You, you tell us some information. We select a portfolio for you, a diversified portfolio of stocks and bonds. And then you're immediately set up to start making these things we call micro investments. And from there, there's all these other things you can do to, to contribute more to your saving and investing, right? So recently, a year and a half ago, we launched a, a full bank account with a card that rounds up in real time. There's a feature that allows you to automatically set a percentage of your paycheck to move into your investment and your retirement accounts. Just makes it really easy to save and invest as part of your life. And one of the biggest culprits in this whole, you know, in this in, in the sort of epidemic of the, the lack of savings epidemic in America is overspending. So our, our approach to everything is how do we help you save and invest as much as possible? And in this in the spending area, the way almost every company in, in financial services is oriented is to get you to spend more because they make money off of your spending. In our case, it's let's help you spend smarter. Let's help let's find ways to help you spend less so that you can save and invest more. And that's kind of the general philosophy. So customers are paying you between a dollar and three dollars a month, depending on which of the services uh, they're using. Is that right? One to five. One, three, One and five. five. Okay. Um, so for five dollars, I'm an Acorn customer paying you five bucks a month, which even for someone that's that doesn't have a lot of money, it's not that much considering what they're getting, obviously. Um, but what do I get? So for five bucks a month. You get a full investment account with all the capabilities we talked about, a, a personalized portfolio, the ability to invest spare change, 
make recurring investments. All you get a you get a retirement account um, where we automatically select the account for you and, and make it easy for you to contribute. You get a full kids account so you can invest as, in, as many kids as you have. And by the way, you can invest in any kid. It doesn't need to, to be your kid, a neighbor's kid. If you're a godparent or whatever, you can invest. You get a full bank account with all these features that help you save and invest, no fees attached to it. Um, really simple kind of beautiful design. You get bonus investments and rewards and you get a whole financial literacy offering. We sort of talk about it as a financial wellness system because there's all these products that help you get more financially healthy. Okay. So the kids accounts, they're going to be UGMA, uh, uh, gift to minor accounts or UTMA. Um, and, but the sign up process, I was playing with your app before. It's so seamless. It doesn't feel like you're sitting in a conference room at a brokerage firm filling out paperwork. It feels like you're like just signing on to any app that you use to do anything. So you guys have, have put a lot of thought and time and effort into the UI. And I think that pays off with the generation that we're talking about. I appreciate you saying that. Yeah. I mean, when you're a customer to set up the kids account, which we call Acorns early, 60 to 90 seconds, right? So, so a lot of the work goes into how do you reduce the work for the customer? I mean, that's, that's the focus. We talk about making big decisions small. Don't make people do math. The history of financial services is an exercise in people figuring out math and like, or, or acronyms or whatever. Right. And like, I, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand how to do these things myself. So it's like, how do you reduce things to the simplest form and make a wonderful experience for people? I mean, one of the, my favorite parts about the Acorns early product, the kids account product is we have this dynamic screen called the potential screen that shows the power of compounding. Um, and it allows you to see, okay, if you change your contribution level, either the amount or the frequency, you can see how much that changes your future over time. And like some of the statistics are pretty staggering. So if you, if you were to start as early as birth, let's say you're, you're about to have a child, a new child. And, and the day the child is born, you decide you're going to contribute $5 a day into acorns early. When the child turns 18, the account transfers to that child. And let's say the child takes it over and, and stays committed to that $5 a day. By retirement, assuming an 8% compound return rate, you'd have four and a half, four, four to four and a half million dollars. Okay. Right? Now, five, now $5 will become much, much easier to contribute each day five years from now, 10 years from now because of inflation. Correct. It's so easy to do. And I just, I, I, I love the Warren Buffett thing that compounding is the eighth wonder of the world. I just right. don't think most people understand that when you invest money, your money grows on top of itself. And it's right. such a wonderful phenomenon. It's like, it's like everybody needs to understand how this works. So you can, you can save your way to wealth, but it's very difficult to save your way to wealth. Right. So you can give people like these illustrative examples. The one I like to use is placing the piece of rice on the chessboard. Um, and then doubling that and doubling that. And I think by the time you get to the last square of the chessboard, you, you have more rice than has ever been produced in the history of the world. Um, that, that like that there are, and there are a lot of examples of that, but, um, all right. So let me get into this with you a little bit. So you launched this early thing, um, income inequality, wealth disparities throughout society. Like my personal opinion is those things are at the root of almost all of our major problems in this country, whether we're talking about politics or health or um, protests, like th that's really the root of it is that, yes, we have somewhat equality, um, but in reality, some people are more equal than others because they're starting 300 yards ahead uh, before the, the gun is fired. Um, I think that what you're doing could be a solution to a lot of those problems if enough people adopt it. Um, there was an article in The Atlantic the other day about baby bonds, and they were looking at white and black families and the disparity. Um, a typical white young adult has a net worth of around $50,000. The typical black young adult is more like $2,900. We know what accounts for that 16-fold difference. It's compounded going back generations of institutionalized policies that have made it that way, um, which is completely unfair. What if everyone did this for their children at birth and gave them this early start, this early seed being planted? So I, I assume you guys have conversations about that internally. I would love to see 50 million children start out with, with an early account. So I love what you're doing. What are your thoughts about curing income equality early rather than trying to fix it later when it's much harder to do? 
Yeah, uh, listen, I grew up in the East Village in New York, going to public schools. All the kids I grew up with, like they and their parents didn't understand this stuff. You know, right. you didn't learn it in school. Uh, you, you, don't, you, you don't even learn it in college unless you really decide to study finance, right? So right. everybody that doesn't have parents that fundamentally understand this stuff is, is, is born at a disadvantage. Um, and even people who have parents that understand this stuff are, are you know, they're still, it's, it's just t difficult stuff to understand. If you can get kids as early as birth engaged in this process, the parents start contributing. And then as soon as it's possible, and we focus a lot on financial literacy content, and we're, we're actually producing a lot of family financial literacy content for the parents and the kids, start engaging in those conversations with your kids, you know, make it part of like the, the discussion at the dinner table. Uh, right. things, even things like taxes, like, you know, who, who learns how to do taxes? We don't learn how to do that stuff. But, but, but people in this country did not learn, and pretty much all, almost all of us did not learn what investing is. We didn't have the access to engage in it. We weren't offered the tools of wealth making that allow you to participate in it. And, and, and the knowledge piece is so important. I just think it, it should be a conversation that parents have with their kids when they're growing up. When I was a kid in elementary school, I think they mentioned investing once. They had somebody come in and set up a stock market like trading game. And not that that's bad, but that's not really teaching what we're talking about. Like we're talking about the time value of money and compounding and growing wealth and saving rather than spending. And none of that was ever mentioned. It was like pick a stock and we'll see what team <laughs> made the most money after six weeks. It was like almost the opposite of what – kids should be exposed to. But um, I, I think that's a really good point. So you guys get lumped into the conversation with a lot of the other investing apps, even though what you're doing and what you look like is night and day. Um, from from And not that it's a bad thing. I guess if people are talking about you, it's, it's visibility. Um, but you've got some pretty, uh, I think, prestigious backers of, of your firm. You're not yet a public company. Uh, CNBC, which I'm a contributor to, they're an investor, um, and they do a lot of content with you guys. What What are your plans for the future of, of Acorns? Like, where, where do you see this whole thing going? If you think about what most financial services companies are, and, and that includes fintech companies, they're basically drop-down menus of options. You know, get this account, get this card, get this mortgage, get this thing. I don't think it's too cynical to say, like, the root of this stuff is these are business opportunities for companies, and that seems to be the primary focus. The primary focus of Acorns is the customer and what's right for the customer and what's right for the everyday American. And our belief is that saving and investing money for the future is the center. It's the most important part of your financial life and that everything else you do in your financial life should point back to that and should point back to optimizing your saving and investing potential. So in terms of what we're doing in the future, you're going to see Acorns expand more and more and more, but everything we do is going to point back to that. And like I was saying before around spending, we got into spending, the spending category. In other words, we have a debit card and a checking account because right. how you spend so deeply impacts your ability to save and invest. Overspending takes away from your ability to save and invest. Spending smartly, spending within your means, taking a portion of your paycheck right off the table as soon as it hits your Acorns account before you spend it is the best way for you to self-monitor, self-moderate your spending. Right. So that's why at the touch of a button, we've got this feature. It's like, boom, your paycheck hits, 10% goes into retirement and investment accounts, and you don't even have to think about it, right? And you don't have, like, to, and you don't have to choose because you chose you know, in advance. Yeah, we're all right. overspenders. I think all we, right. all like, we all love to spend. We're all addicted to spending. You put things in front of us that we like. People have this natural proclivity for, 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 for buying things. So I, I know, you know, for myself, the best way to stop me from buying things is literally for me to have a device that takes the money before I can even spend it. And that's the kind of, you know, by the way, on the other side of the equation, the number one reason people don't save and invest enough is, you know, I mean, it's pretty obvious is because they don't earn enough. So that's also a big focus for us is how do we help people? You're going to see us do more of this, but how do we help people earn more money, right? Like how do we find those opportunities when you spend on the side even from new job opportunities. Right. Because the earning power is so critical. What does that look like in the context of the Acorns app? How do you help people earn more money? We help you earn more investing capital through 350 partnerships with the Postmates, the Ubers, the Nikes, the yep. Chevrons. When you go there and you shop, they invest into your Acorns account as a reward for shopping. 
right? We've also got opportunities to earn money on the side. So we've got a, a whole bunch of partnerships that allow you to earn money by doing things on the side at night when you're not at your full-time job, if you have a full-time job. So on-demand on demand work. Okay. Right. And, young people, if, and young people love that. I mean, they're, they're looking to do that stuff when they can. Right, right. But, you, you know, you can see sort of where this goes. Because, again, you think of Acorns as our, our entire reason for being is to help you save and invest money. What are the things we need to do to, to help you save and invest as much money as possible? That's what you're going to see us do. Okay, so modif- helping people with their behavior, setting up tools in advance so that they don't have to think about every time they're about to spend money, I, and and then if they can make more money, even better. Uh, I love all of those things. Uh, I really appreciate you coming on, and I just wanted to tell you um, there aren't a lot of companies focused on the birth of a child. Let's make sure their their investments made. We know about five twenty nine plans. We know that a decent amount of people make use of them. But for every one person that makes use of them, there are probably five sets of parents who just – the whole thing is Greek. They, they can't even imagine opening up an account, let alone funding it. They don't know what the rules are, the tax ramifications. So just putting these options in front of people in, a, in an intuitive format – I think is going to be game changing for a whole generation of, of new parents and then their their children as they come of age. So I just wanted to tell you that. I think it's great. We will keep in touch with you on this. And uh, I want to hear from the audience. What do you guys think? Have you guys checked out Acorns for yourself? If you haven't, uh, now's as good a time as any. Go ahead and leave us some feedback. Go ahead and like the channel if you haven't already. Subscribe. Go ahead and follow Noah on all his channels too. We will be back very soon. Bye.